Hey guys, um, just kind of finishing up this uh, 2018 Kyle Larson DC solar car. Um, I don't know, may maybe my uh, <laughs> my disposition is to be critical of my work and, and critical of these cars. Um, but I I'm going to try hard to point out the positives um, of this car and then I'll get into... Uh, get in a couple of things that I, I didn't like about it um, so first of all the 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 roof decal went on pretty well um, pretty happy with that there's still a little it's not completely um, you know meshed into the die cast body as I would like it to be you know with that painted on look um, but everything kind of lines up okay uh, with this um, with this particular car uh, the hood decal looks pretty good uh, these lines come out nicely and they line up nice uh, here um, whenever you have decals you know separated and you gotta kinda m meet them up on the die cast body and they align nicely that's always a good thing um, the front turned out really well I'm pretty happy with the front like I had said in my other video I had to cut it uh, I had to cut this you know decal uh, into this one single decal into three different decals and uh, it lined up pretty well um, uh, and uh, and so I'm real happy with that <clears throat> um, I kinda mentioned about this decal that goes across the trunk the fire alarm how you kinda have to run it over the uh, this uh, little shark fin that's sitting there um, so that's that. It's got DC solar on the back. I had to trim these decals ever so slightly to get them to fit on this back because they were a little wide. Um, yeah, I mean, I did paint the side skirts black. I was looking at pictures of this car. It looks like a, a 2018 Xfinity Las Vegas win. Uh, they uh, Manufacturers made this in 124 scale. Uh, but not at 164 scale, so that's why I'm making it. That was the custom request. A couple things I don't like about it. Uh, one of the things is a, is a paint thing. Um, right here on the back, there just looks like a little mark right here on the paint. And, um, you know, can't really do anything about it right now at this point. So, um, it is what it is. The other thing are these side decals. So, this is all one piece here. And in order for it to line up with, with this at the top, you have to raise it up. Which means you can't get this to line up with the front wheel well. See this gap here? So it looks, looks high. And uh, unfortunately, that's just the way it is. Um, and on this side kind of the same thing it's just high you would have to bring all this down which would separate these decals from this and you'd have to bring it down and so you're looking at one part of it not looking right you can't really get them both to line up so that's just an unfortunate piece um, but other than that like I said I'm pretty happy with it um, oh you know what I do need to do these roof lines are black so let me paint those black because my next step is I've already added a couple coats of clear sealer on it I've got a couple more to do um, but let me get the get the roof lines black here they're gonna be thick because this roof line is thick And like I've said before, I like to do two strokes with this uh, black Sharpie, just to make sure it's a nice thick black. It's hard to see on this dark blue, but it is there. So I'll put a coat of clear sealer over it, maybe two coats, and then I'll put another stripe of the black. And then I'll put a final 
uh, coat of clear sealer on it, and that'll lock it in. Um, yeah, and that'll be done. It's interesting on the front. This is kind of rare on these cars, but this is actually it was white uh, on this on this front. Normally, it's like a it's yellow or red or orange or black, typically black. But on this one, it's white, so I just leave it, uh, which makes that easy. So, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. It's not perfect, um, but it's uh, it's pretty good. Wish these would line up, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so that's that. Um, I was gonna do a little bit. I'm getting over a cold. If you can't tell, my voice is a little different. But I want to get some red on this because I want to do the insides of these. I've already done the bottom, but I haven't done the inside of these. And I need to get the, the black on there. So I have my toothpicks, right? So this is my this is my silver, this is my red, this is my um, this is my uh, kind of a rust brown color for the uh, for this bottom uh, back area, and then uh, this is usually like a black, and then this other one is just for this other toothpick is for whatever, um, but yeah, I like them really pointy because you can get toothpicks that are kind of have like a little flat end to them. I don't see much purpose in those. I like these that are pointy because they can get down exactly where I want them to go a little bit easier. I'm trying the camera on this left side because I am right-handed so maybe it's easier for you guys to see what I'm doing if it's on the left side fuzzy stuff is all right now what's up with these they, these tend to have I don't know like different fuzzies and stuff in them I don't know why when I say these, it's the ones that have the screws. Like these have the little screws that that just screw in. They're not rivets, so I just unscrew them with my with my little screwdriver. I don't know why they're like that. They're they've got I don't know, just little pieces of fuzz and stuff in certain areas. Whatever. All the way from China. It's a nice red. It covers that up pretty thick. Again, I don't know how many people look so closely at the detail of the cars, but in the event somebody does, they can find it's well de detailed. Okay, so now I want to do a little... gray. My gray is getting to the end of its life. And when it gets to the end of this life, for some reason it's not... It doesn't flow as nicely. Usually at the beginning and at the end of these paint pens is when you gotta treat them a little bit differently. Excuse me. So this will be interesting. I can open this up. Okay. I like 
to go around the seat here. But it can be a pain on these when they don't they don't open. Ah. I was hoping not to touch that little bar that comes across but I did like I said I'll just wait till it dries and I'll scrape it off and I like to do this little platform whatever this little box is behind the driver I like to do that and that's basically it and once this dries I'll get white on that tip or that that dipstick, that, that uh, uh, shifter. Okay, let's do this one. Trying to be extra careful not to touch anything there this time around. is a chunk on there. Get them off for next time. I think I got this one already done. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Back in a second. So one of the things I wanted to do is I wanted to pre-paint this um, or show you how I pre-paint this Reynolds Wrap car because I've made this a handful of times before and the primary places to, to pre-paint are this rear wheel well this decal is short it doesn't stretch all the way to the end so I I pre-paint along this side here um, I also do a little bit around this area here across here so there's quite a few places actually and a little bit around the headlights uh, because I trim this decal up the headlight decal and the hood and there's a little bit of a gap sometimes and so I pre-paint basically all the way across this front. Um, yeah. So I'll do that and show you how that turns out. So my experience with this Reynolds wrap brought me to a, a rare paint that I use. It's this Valspar. And it's a um, it's this kind of a, a, a blue, kind of a, I don't know, a darker blue. 
kind of a almost like a dull blue. But you know, see, I wrote Reynolds Wrap on it, and I also wrote 1951 Hudson Hornet. I, I did a Hudson Hornet car one time, way back in the day, and it was this this shade that I did. It turned out pretty good. It wasn't wasn't my best work, but um, I'm going to use this spray it onto a plate and then paint it onto this car, and that'll help mask uh, the uh, the color. It it matches. It's the best match that I have to this Reynolds Wrap um, decal. Not a big Valspar fan, but this paint has been good to me. And I'm not really looking to get it super thick. I'm really just looking to, I think this is, this gets black along the side, so. So we'll do this bottom. This back area is an orange decal. But the last thing I want showing through is any of the silver, because there's no silver back in this area. So. go too far up because it does stop. Maybe that that's far enough right there. I can always no actually I can go up a little bit further it looks like to where this window hits. drying out on me a little bit. I like to make sure that this gets the inside here. People ask, you know, why I like to um, put it together before I decal it. Well, I like to pre-paint it before I um, put it together. Just for this reason, right? I can get it in there before the windows are in place and I don't have any problems you know getting anything in the window. I might need more paint here. This is already drying up oh, a little bit. It's kind of thick there. The only problem that that this pre-painting can do because it, it raises the surface of the paint or of the die cast body so when you put the decals on, if you look really close, you can see that underneath there's a there's a layer of paint. It's a little bit thicker in this area. So I try not to get it too thick to where that's noticeable. Right, I want a big glob of paint there. So... Oops. 
just graze that other side there for a second. So, again, that gives you an idea of what I do. Let's see what I got on the front here. This whole front is blue. good. I think I'm going to need to spray anymore after all. If I go to start putting this together and I realize I didn't cover a certain area, I'll stop and I'll get some paint you know, just like this and I'll, and I'll start working it. But that's, that's basically what I, what I do on this particular car. See how this is all orange on the back. Yeah, and, and the other thing I'll do is I'll as I'll paint the spoiler before I before I put this start putting those on. So the spoiler's all black and then go from there. sit in there, rest. Uh, let's see. Okay, maybe I don't need this anymore. It's not right now. Um, oh, I didn't put those cars together yet. I didn't JB weld those cars together yet. Yeah, I gotta do that. But you guys have seen me do that before. It's not that big of a deal, is it? JB welds, JB weld. It's not too hard. I like to hold the car when I... Um, put a clear coat of sealer on it. I hold it in the back tires like this. And I usually take my my ring finger and I stick it on this front left tire. Like that. So I'm really not touching any of the car other than the little plastic tires. And uh And I'm squeezing pretty hard with my two fingers, my thumb and my my forefinger, because the last thing I want to do is drop this puppy. So I do not want to do that at all. Be 
because this is white, I'm looking very carefully. I can see fuzzy in my brush. And I definitely just want to be careful about about that. You know, this little pet peeve of mine where you get like a little fuzzy in the in the clear coat. Uh, I hate it. So I try to I try to keep an eye out for that kind of stuff. Um, on these white cars, they're especially noticeable. I mean, if I'm doing a black car, it's you know, it's impossible. I mean, if I can't see it, I, I doubt the the consumer is going to see it. But um, you know, you just want to be cautious of these white cars because they are really noticeable. You know, my pursuit is that perfect custom. You know, I don't want any, you know, any defects in it as, as possible. Um, I mean, there's going to be a few. I mean, I, I don't ever recall making a perfect custom, although that's my goal. But I definitely want to minimize any imperfections in it. It's going to be one or two here or there. I'm kind of used to that. I just don't want there to be three or four or more, you know. Like I've said, I've I've made a bunch of customs for my collection, and I don't I don't like putting cars in my collection that I know have a bunch of imperfections in them. So, why would I want to make a car for somebody else? I see a fuzzy right there. Um, that has imperfections in it, so. Okay. Yeah, so that's that. <clears throat> I'll put JB Weld on those two cars, and I've got to drill out these, uh, these plastic pieces and dip these, dip these bodies in the water, or in the stripper. And just about ready to to do this car real quick. I'll just show you this. Um, this 2015 white PPG. My experience is I've got to paint this black across here because this blue doesn't go all the way up to the top, and it'll show white through here. And I don't want to show white. I'd rather show black. So I pre-painted this black and and that. So um, so it's less likely for that to be the white to be showing through in this area so that's what i'm doing today guys god bless